As a backpacker and a, a hiker, all the technical clothes that we wear are so bad for the environment. Yoga and running and all these things that really embrace the philosophy of like part of nature, they'll never biodegrade. They're toxic from production to use. Every time you wash your yoga pants, they're shedding microfibers. There's not a lot of sustainable alternatives out there. And 62% of our clothes are synthetic textiles. How do you get around that? Chewy Valentina and Morgana came up to me one day after our meeting and they said, Dan, all of the performance and aesthetic traits we want in our clothes come with this huge environmental footprint. Can we achieve this with proteins? Can we engineer proteins to do this? And I said, maybe. <laughs> Wear will takes inspiration from nature's strategies for performance and color and maps that into biodegradable textile fibers with DNA programmed color and performance properties. What we do is actually we engineer proteins in the lab. We identify an organism with property of interest like a beautiful red from the discosoma coral or waterproofing from a hornet's nest. And so that's a microscopic protein structure provides a function or a color. So no toxic dyes, no pigments, no phthalates, no plastics. And what we've been able to do is identify the biological protein of interest, engineer it in the lab, and engineer it in such a way that it can self-assemble or cross-link into a fiber. Right now we're working on color. A big thing that we're working on now also is, is stretch because a biodegradable stretch it, it doesn't exist, and that's a, that's a big cause for the microplastic pollution. 1% spandex renders a, a garment completely unrecyclable. So we're trying to holistically tackle this problem, looking at raw materials, processing to end of life, but also ecosystems. Can fashion work across ecosystems, both literal ecosystems, and then you know supply chain ecosystems and industry ecosystems? We're not gonna do better than nature. It's done the, the research for us. So now if we can kind of take these building blocks and map them into materials, I stay kind of really optimistic about humans created this problem so humans can fix this problem.